Fixture release day is finally here. We know we were going to be facing them when throughout the season. Uh, the Carabao Cup draw has just been done as well, which is why this video is going out a little bit later in the day rather than making two, one on the league fixtures and one on the cup. I thought I may as well just combine it into one. We kick off the season um, after pre-season where we play the likes of Reading, Oxford, um, who we've also got in the Carabao Cup, Swindon, um, Portsmouth and Cheltenham, I think a couple of others as well. I can't remember off the top of my head. And most of them behind closed doors, Portsmouth and Cheltenham, the only ones that fans are able to, to attend both away on the 25th and the 29th of July. Um, I think I'm going to go to Cheltenham, I'm probably not going to make it to Portsmouth, unfortunately, uh, as I'm on holiday, so I can make it to that one. But we kick off the league season at home to Preston North End, which traditionally we find a bit of a tricky fixture. But the last two years, no, last year, sorry, we won it, and two years before that we won it. Um, so... Maybe, maybe we get something. It's, it's, it's a fairly kind start for us. After that, we play Oxford at home in the Cup, which you've got, to, you've got to get your classic. Oh, we should go through. It should be an easy win, blah, blah, blah. Um, but who knows? Anything could happen. It's the Cup. As we know, we knocked out Man United in this competition. It, nothing's guaranteed. Um, but I would like to think, you know, as everyone would, that we'll go through there. And then our first away game comes against Millwall, uh, a trip to the Den on the 12th of August. And then Birmingham at home and Hull City away follow. Uh, alongside of the Carabao Cup Round 2, which will be played on the 29th or 30th of September on the basis we make it past Oxford. Uh, sorry, August, not September. And in September we face Swansea away to kick it off, which is nice to get that out of the way early. We haven't got the best of records there since they came back down. Um, well, the last two, three years we haven't got the best of records there, rather. Uh, the first year they came down, obviously we won Andy Byman scoring after, what, 90 seconds or so. I think while well, the fans were still singing God Save the Queen. A uh, famous, sort of infamous video, I suppose. If you, I'm sure you've seen it in the in the lovely purple and lime kit with the with the strap across it. The first year we had Dunder on our Dunder on the shirts as well, and then West Brom at home and Plymouth at home follow that. Leicester City away, a new away day for a lot of fans uh, at the King Power. Obviously, not been down in the Championship for nearly ten years now since Nigel Pearson, funnily enough, got them promoted. Obviously, they went and won the league, uh, the Premier League under Claudio Ranieri as well, and then. Kind of pushed for Europe for a few years and all of a sudden they got relegated. It was a bit, it's a bit weird really, what's going on at Leicester. Um, I'm sure they'll be bouncing back, so that'll be a tough game. Uh, and then possibly a Carabao Cup round three fixture on the 27th of September as well, should we make it that far. But at that, I'm going to stop talking about the Carabao Cup point, uh, at that point, because realistically that's probably where we go out. Uh, Stoke at home on the at the end of September, followed by Rotherham and Leeds away, so two trips up to Yorkshire. Uh, on at the start of October, rather than midweek, I can't see many fans making that trip. I certainly won't be due to university commitments. Uh, and a Leeds away, I think, will be a really, really good one. Not been in the Championship now for a few years, so that should be a nice one. And uh, Coventry, Ipswich and Cardiff follow that. Cardiff being away, the first seven-side derby of the season over at the Cardiff City Stadium. That should be a good game. Um, hopefully a better result than last year. Uh, more like the, the two years, three years before, where we, we did them three years in a row at their own ground, which was, which was nice having not won there before. Um, and then Sheffield Wednesday at home at the start of November uh, which I can't guarantee if there's going to be a video for that one for personal reasons just because of the date uh, and then QPR away which I won't be going to I've kind of made a rule with myself that I'm going to try and cover some neutral games um, when City are at grounds that I've already been to like QPR, West Brom, uh, Blackburn etc etc we'll go, I'll touch on them as we go through uh, then Middlesbrough at home, Southampton away on a Wednesday night isn't ideal um, but I'll try and make the trip dependent on personal commitments with university and stuff like that as well. Moving into December, we've got Norwich at home on the uh, on the 2nd of December, which obviously become they kind of became a bit of a meme almost, just going up and down, up and down for, what, six, seven years almost. Um, but this is the first year that they've stayed in a league for since, what, 2017 when they went up? Sorry, 2018 when they won the championship. Um, I think that was the last time that they that was like their second season in a league or anything like that. Um, and then Huddersfield away, which I'll be going to, that's a new ground for me. Blackburn away on a Tuesday night, I definitely won't be making that trip, and I can't imagine many others will. Uh, Sunderland at home uh, in mid-December, Hull at home right before Christmas on the 23rd, Watford away, Boxing Day, Birmingham away on the 29th, and then Millwall at home New Year's Day, similar to uh, the year Andy Byman scored a hat-trick, what was that, last, kind of almost two seasons ago now, uh, the first year like fully back with fans, I think that was on the 2nd of January that one was played. And then we'll have the FA Cup third round, which is always a nice occasion, depending on who you get. Preston away, mid-January. Again, one that I can't imagine many fans are going to be making the trip for unless, we, unless we're in a really good run of form or something like that. Watford at home, uh, Coventry away, or the FA Cup fourth round on the 27th of January. So hopefully the FA Cup fourth round, you know, it'd be nice to have another little crack like we did last, uh, last season where we got out to Man City in the end. And February kicks off, which is quite a busy month for us actually. Leeds at home, Borough away, Southampton at home, QPR at home, Sheffield Wednesday away, 
um, and then possibly a fifth round in the FA Cup, possibly a League Cup final, but, you know, that feels incredibly unlikely. If we got there, that would be amazing. So, you know, feel free to do it, see? Feel free to do it. March is quite an interesting one, I think. Cardiff and Swansea both at home uh, with Ipswich away, sandwiched in between on the Tuesday night, uh, and West Brom away on the Saturday after before playing Leicester on Good Friday. And what's quite an early Easter this year, uh, I've noticed. I didn't realise it was so early until I was looking at these fixtures, but that is formed by Plymouth away on Easter Monday, which I think a lot of fans have kind of... We're keeping an eye out for Plymouth away, obviously the, the South West Derby. Um, should be a really good day out, that one. And a nice kind of way to, a nice place for it as well, because it's kind of later on in the season. Hopefully, they'll be struggling by that point, I'd, I'm imagining. Maybe they'll be, to be fair, they're quite well run. Maybe they'll be sort of lower mid-table. I'd like to think that we're we're safe by that point, would be nice. Um, but I can't imagine we're going to be pushing for much more. So it'll just be a nice day in the sun down in Plymouth. A few drinks and, uh, and see where we end up. Hopefully, we get the win. Uh, and then Sunderland away, obviously... A very, very long trip the week after that. But again, it'll be nice weather. So, I mean, not so nice if you get in the coach, I suppose. But other than that, I'm sure that'll be fine. Blackburn at home on a Wednesday night because they're both Blackburn home and away in midweek, which is a bit a bit unusual, I suppose. Um, and not great for fans either because obviously that is a fairly long trip for, for both them and us. And then Huddersfield at home Saturday the 13th of April. Uh, Norwich away on the 20th of April, which could end up being their promotion party, unfortunately. Uh, Rotherham at home is the last home game, which it was the penultimate home game of last season. Obviously, the Andy Byman last minute winner. Roll the clip. <laughs> and then Stoke away, final day of the season, where we've got a pretty good record since they got relegated from the Premier League, what, four or five years ago now? So hopefully that'll be a nice way to end the season. And then who knows, maybe we'll have the playoffs and everything to go with it. That'll be lovely. It feels a bit far-fetched, but who knows? Just to touch on the sign-ins as well that we've made recently. I have put some TikToks and some shorts out. If you don't follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, etc., where you can see kind of my thoughts as it happened, then feel free to do so. They are all linked down in the description. But I think uh, Dickie McCrory and Hayden Roberts, all three really solid sign-ins. I'm very happy with them. Alex Scott being linked as ever, with various Premier League sides, so I'm kind of hoping he goes sooner rather than later if he is going to go at all, um, just to get that money through the door and make the sign-ins early rather than leaving it late like we did with Semenyo in January, well, I suppose like we did, like we had to with Semenyo in January because that was when he went, and obviously we had to bring in Kornick and Mameti very late in the window. I think they were both signed on deadline day in the end, but um, but yeah, I'm quite happy with the fixtures. Let me know what game you're looking forward to the most. I'm expecting the seven-side derby to be the most common answer. Uh, obviously March 2nd and October 28th, I believe those ones are, so that should be very, very good. Like, share and subscribe as always. We're trying to hit 1,500 subs as soon as possible. We're nearly there. So, uh, yeah, thank you, and I will see you, possibly, for a friendly between Western and Cheltenham in a couple of weeks uh, at the start of July. I'm trying to work out if, I can, if I'm around to go, but if not, then I'll see you at Cheltenham away for City. So, yeah, enjoy that. Make sure you subscribe, like I said, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Silver soul, can you take any deeper now?